So what is prostate cancer grading and what is prostate cancer staging? Prostate cancer grading has to do with the aggressiveness of disease. We use this grading system called the Gleason grade. So Gleason grades three, four, or five are used to determine the aggressiveness of the cancer at hand. And that has to do with what the architecture of the cells look like under the microscope. The more erratic and the more bizarre they are, typically the more aggressive they are, and the higher the grade that's associated with them. So again, three being a normal type of a prostate cancer, four being slightly more aggressive, and five being very aggressive. The overall sum or the Gleason score, if you will, has to do with the predominant pattern with a secondary pattern. So for example, you can have a predominant pattern of three with a secondary pattern of four, therefore a patient will end up with a three plus four or a Gleason score of seven. Likewise, somebody can have a Gleason grade of four as a predominant pattern and can have a secondary three. So they can have a four plus three, also a Gleason seven. But the key differentiating point is understanding what the primary Gleason grade is and what the second Gleason score is. And therefore the range can either be a Gleason six, a Gleason seven, a Gleason eight, a Gleason nine, or a 10. Gleason sixes are categorized as being your typical type of aggressiveness of prostate cancer. Gleason 7s are somewhere between medium and more aggressive, and Gleason 8s, 9s, and 10s in particular are very aggressive types of prostate cancer. The natural biology of the cancers typically are associated with the Gleason score of a man's prostate cancer. That means that on the average, a Gleason 7 will behave more aggressively than a Gleason 6, and a Gleason 8, and a 9, and a 10 will also behave more aggressively than the lower Gleason grades. So initially, prostate cancer develops within the prostate itself, but over time, it wants to grow outside the prostatic capsule and invade the adjacent structures, such as the bladder, such as the rectum, such as the periurethral tissue, or it can actually spread to the lymph nodes or the bones within the body. The typical spread of prostate cancer really occurs in two forms. One is direct extension outside the prostate and into the adjacent and surrounding tissue. The second one is to spread either via the lymphatic system to the lymph nodes or secondarily through the venous or the vascular system to the bones within the body. Staging of the cancer has to do with the extent of disease at the time of diagnosis. Is the cancer still limited to the prostate itself at the time of diagnosis? where somebody can be either a clinical stage T1 or a T2, or as the cancer already started to come outside the prostate, in which case somebody can be a clinical T3 or a T4. Find out what your treatment options are. Call us today.